which why and wherefores of all the things that are surrounding us. It is human nature to want to learn the unknown. We evolve to the point we have because we have always been obsessed with solving mysteries and wanting to know more. Children are natural born explorers. Every time they play or do something, they ask what, how and why. They are always interested in lots of stuffs. They question a lot. They want to know, see, touch and feel and are continuously curious about the goings in the world around them. All you need to do is to answer those questions no matter what it is, as honestly as possible. The impact on the youth ideas and motivation for a scientific work is already 90 to 95% of its adult size, but it still needs a lot of remodeling in order to behave as one. And that happens intensively during adolescence up till the mid-twenties. Based on the use it or lose it principle, this period is the most crucial time frame to mold and model the brain, which consequently means that this is the period when you have to provide avenues and opportunities to the youngsters. The young learners, for young learners, science is just an extension of their everyday life. You don't have to teach a child how to explore, how to discover, how to wonder, because they do it very naturally. A very popular and fast-growing industry in today's world is STEM, S-T-E-M, an acronym for science, technology, engineering, and math. These four fields share an emphasis on innovation, problem solving, and critical thinking. Contrary to the popular belief, STEM education does not revolve around being a doctor, an engineer, or for that matter, a maths teacher. With the world changing every day, in the blink of an eye and horizons coming closer, the doors to liver avenues, opportunities spring up in the most unexpected ways. Let me give you some examples for the most common careers in STEM education. You can start by entertaining the thought of being a zoologist, a wildlife biologist, a microbiologist, a geographer, a medical engineer, a material scientist, an environmental engineer. अच्छा अच्छा बोलिए, लोगों के सामने बोलिए, आगे बढ़िए, हम लोगों की दुआएं आपके साथ। Okay, one big reason could be, uh, you know, you look around yourself and you feel like, no, this is the need. We need to build something like this. We need to build something like that. And the need gives the birth to the innovation. And you know, young minds are free, they are carefree, they are careless, they don't care, they say whatever they want to. They will say the most offensive things and act like, we don't know what did we just say. Mm. So th that's the same thing, that's what happens. My cousin, he comes to me one day and asks me like, you know, Sanjali, can you tell me how blood is formed? And I'm like, I don't know. And he's like, how did you get into the 10th? He literally asked Bari, he's the world's youngest professor in the New York. He's an American kid and he's like this 14 year old. He's the youngest. Kid, this little kid has this thing one in mind that now that my mother suffered from it, I will protect others from it. And he was the inventor of the system. I want to point out here because you know I have suffered this. I would really love to. I would like it's boring. Making science look like it's boring. It's a matter of books and grades. You have to see, learn, 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 then learn again for need, learn again for J E learn. It is a it is a pressure, you know, science, oh my god, science. And but Making science look like you cannot teach a student that science is about innovation. Come out, let me show you. Does scientific exploration explore the world beyond the current limitations of knowledge? Chelly is very much interested in taking the youth to to something, to something good by celebrating these very events in our colleges. Actually, when Burhan Sahib came to me and uh, he uh, mailed the, he mailed us that I, uh, we are doing some event with you in collaboration with the debating committee of the college. So I was happy that these events they, they must be celebrated or they must be done in the colleges because it is for the for our youth for our younger generation they they should come forward for these events. Today's event was a seminar and in this our students, they all the students, about 12 students of our college, 
took part in this very seminar. First of all, I must congratulate the students for taking part in this very seminar. And I hope that because I was not present here, and I hope that all the students must have done very well. It is not the mere that you uh, will be on the top or you will come first or second in the workshops or in the seminars. But it is your participation, dear students.